Warning, stock up on food and supplies and everything else now. And this is why folks, there is so much stuff that is going on that you people just don't grasp the importance of being prepped and being ready for this upcoming winter. We have the high inflation, we have recession, we have companies that are cutting jobs, not hiring as many people as they normally do for the Christmas season. We have the gas prices. Yeah, they may seem kind of low now, but they're about ready to start going back up and they are expected to rise back up in between the four and five dollar range. On top of what is really going to be taking place this year is going to hurt a lot of people, millions and millions of people worldwide. And we're talking about the price to heat your home, depending on what you heat your home with. A lot of people in a lot of countries are starting to try to go into the forest and try to harvest wood so they have something to burn, which is against the law. In a lot of areas, if you go into the woods, you can use down trees, dead trees as they call them, and you can use that to burn or whatever else. But you can't just walk into a forest, especially a national forest, and start cutting down trees. It doesn't work that way, folks. All right, so you gotta be very careful in what you are doing here because this has been reported all over the world that people are starting to do. All right, <clears throat> they see all these trees and stuff and uh, they're thinking free heat for the winter. Now, even the people that are in the South this year are supposed to have a cooler, wetter winter than what they're supposed to normally have. Like down here in Florida, they're already talking, we're supposed to be two to four degrees below our average and a lot wetter than normal. Supposedly during the winter, that's the dry season, typically in the South. But it's not supposed to be that the way this year. You need to really heed the warning and start stocking up on a lot of different goods. Your rice, your pastas, canned goods of all types, canned meats, uh, canned vegetables, potatoes, all these different types of stuff. And if you can slowly start putting this and integrating it into your weekly shopping and try to put a few cans of something, a few boxes of pasta, an extra pound of rice per week into an emergency stockpile, you're going to be a lot better off trying to save some money now so that you'll have that money hopefully to be able to afford the heat your homes this winter. It's going to be very tough for millions and millions of people worldwide, especially anybody that is a senior citizen that is on a strict fixed income and you're not really getting that much money and maybe you're just getting by now. You need to heed the warning. You need to make sure that you are being ready. Having your supplies and having food that is put up can really help you out this winter in a time of need when you may have to be making those tough decisions between buying food and heating your home. It's a fact. They're already saying this. It's going to get really ugly for a lot of you folks out there and I'm trying to warn you now so that you can be prepared. Now just remember the ball is in your court and all you have to do is start a little bit at a time and start putting up some canned goods, start putting up some dry goods. Just start doing something. And this way here, maybe it won't be so hard on you and your family when push comes to shove and those prices all start rising as they are forecast to do because you are the only one that can control this. You are the people that have to take the ball and run it down the court and make that shot and make this count so that you and your family will survive. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I really hope people heed the warning that you need to stock up now before it's too late. 
So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.